In this video, we're going to be showing you one of the best man beaters in Madden, including the best man beating route in the game out of the bunch tight end formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free to subscribe. Also, I do want to let you know that I just released my brand new bunch tight end offensive ebook. This is, I think, one of the better formations that I have labbed up this year. Um, I do believe bunch tight end has been massively overlooked at the competitive level. I think that there is a lot of value in this formation, especially with where the current meta of the game is. If you want the ability Ability to attack man coverage, beat all the coverages in the game for one play touchdowns, as well as have some of the best uh, spacing and passing concepts in the game, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon uh, and get the Bunch Tied In Offensive Ebook. For just $10 by becoming a Patreon member, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And so if you want to sign up for that and take your Madden game to the next level, you can do so by clicking the link down in the description. And in today's video, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at the best man beating route, or at least in my opinion, one of the best man meeting money plays um, in this game. And there's literally no setup required. You don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever to this play. And that's part of what makes it so powerful. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to show you. So the play is tight end corner. Now what you want to do, and this is uh, found in the run heavy playbook. What you want to do is you want to have your best route running player or your short and elite guy. Um, and Mutt, I really recommend Roddy White or Michael Crabtree in this slot receiver position. Other than that, that's literally all you need. And then if you want to put short and elite on your tight end, you certainly can. It doesn't hurt. Um, but what you're going to see is this is such a simple play, and it's really, really freaking good against man. Okay? So you have an option. You can literally just come out and just spam hike, and you just make a read. And literally, it is super, super powerful. Like, literally, every route will beat man. Every route on this play will beat man, with the exception, of course, of the running back. Obviously, if you want to put the running back on an out route, you can. That's a real simple adjustment. Um, but the one route I want to zero in on is this corner route. And this corner route is a really, 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 really good man beater. And I'm going to talk about a meta, uh, a meta defense that you're going to see. Um, and you don't see it as much with dollar, I don't think. Let me just see if this works with dollar. Um, you see here, yeah, it doesn't. So I want to show you it out of nickel. Um, we have seen a significant shift in the meta to away from dollar, although dollar I do think is still really freaking good. And in my Patreon, I do have a dollar three two as well as a one four six, which I think one four six is actually better uh, defensive ebook as well. If you want to check that out. Um, but anyways, let me show you this against nickel over. So nickel over is a really popular meta, and don't worry, we're not going to focus too much on the pressure. Um, this this um, this right here will uh, be able to pick up the pressure if you just ID this D end, like slide right, ID the D end here. The running back on the blue route right there will pick this up. I just want you to watch this nickel corner. So if I motion this guy to the right one step, you see that nickel corner move inside? So now my out route becomes an in route. But the other thing that's really powerful is I get this guy all the all of the space in the world to be able to work on this left side. And I have had a ton, and I mean a ton, of success with this concept. So again here, we'll actually leave the pressure so that you can actually see that the Blitz uh, Overstorm Brave is not going to come in. I don't know why he's actually getting guarded here. Um, I don't know why this corner is playing out of his mind. But anyway, you see how the corner moves inside. Now, my free form is not necessarily on point here, so I'll just try to highball it. You should just highball everything at this point. And as you can see, there we go. So you see how you see what this does to nickel alignments. And, and again, I have noticed that it's actually pretty specific to nickel. It's not you don't see it as much in diamond dollar. Although this play still cooks man in diamond dollar, it doesn't. It's not that it doesn't. Um, but again, just this baby motion. Now I'll show you something else you can do out of bunch tight end that I'm pretty sure you can't do um, out of some other formations in this game that you should uh, honestly be able to. But because of the way that this formation sets up and tees up for itself, what you can do that's really interesting is let's say that they're trying to you know play heavy to the tight end and all that um you can do this when you motion mike evans you're going to just snap the ball so just motion him and snap it now he's on this side and this motion out route has actually been pretty decent um for beating man to man so again it's just a one one click to the right motion him in boom and then you have your your slot as well cooking man Okay, now again, short and elite, I think, is actually better uh, for this than Slotomatic is, uh, which I believe is what Chris Godwin has. So just keep that in mind. 
But anyway, let's go over the rest of the, the routes on this play and why they're so good against man-to-man. And again, tight end corner, literally you don't have to make any adjustments. And if you wanted to make some adjustments to the play, we'll teach you some stuff in the ebook about this. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do with this play. This is, I think, arguably one of the most versatile passing plays in the game. Okay, So uh, what you're going to see here is this tight end corner is one of the most consistent routes against man as well. And this is where we're combining what I love about bunch tight end is it combines trips the best the best concepts of trips tight end tight and bunch tight end, or a bunch it, it merges those three main metas together and you see it right here with the ability uh, that this tight end has even though this corner is going to have outside leverage you'll see right here he's going to cook him almost every time and again short and lead on that is going to make it even better okay. Okay, so now I want to go to our last main route that I want to show you, uh, which is this post route. And this post route is really the bread and butter of this play. You'll see right there, boom, easy man beater over the middle. I don't know why he can't catch the ball, but he's wide open in the middle of the field. So, again, their user, let's say their user says, well, I need to make sure that they don't throw the tight end corner, or I need to make sure they don't throw the, the other corner. Now you have this route coming over the middle as well. So this play is literally the perfect passing concept, in my personal opinion. Um, and there's so much we can do around it. Like, you could run a setup like this, for example. Uh, you know, this is a very simple play. But now we're able to flood. We've turned, taken our man beater, and we've made it a zone beater. And we still have the ability uh, of that post route to get really good separation. Now, right there, for some reason, he ran the route a little weird. This out route, I think, is super underrated as well. What's good about this out route is what people will try to do to you is they will take this outside defender and they will put him um, they will put him in a zone, so like a third. This out route kind of creates a bench concept, if you will, on the on the bunch side, and we're able to just take our out route. So it forces, even though they're even though they have technically the red on the field to cover the corner then now they're leaving themselves vulnerable in a lot of other ways as well. So that's why this play is so powerful. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, you're seeing how easy it is for these corner routes and these post routes to just get separation um, against man. Super simple. All you got to do is come to the line, snap the ball super fast. You can do anything you want with your running back, um, literally anything you want. So, like, let's say, for example, um, we want to take our running back and we want to put him on a uh, out route. Perfect. And then you'll see here, if you have good route running, these out routes can beat man coverage. So they don't always beat man coverage, but they, they certainly can. Um, you know, you could put your running back on an in route, run route combination that looks like this. Now you got your guy coming there. And then, of course, you have your corner route, which is the main route on the play. Um, this, the, the corner, this specific corner route that Godwin is on, I think is one of the best, if not the best, man beating routes in the game, especially due to the way the route actually works. And you will not find that route in the bunch offense. Um, this route is specific to uh, bunch tight end. Uh, it, it, you can find it in uh, trips tight end. I think you can also find it in tight. But it's the best way, it's the best type of corner in the game. And so, um, you know, we're going to have a lot of success with that. Look at that out route when you motion him in. That's what I was talking about where a lot of times he'll actually cook the man coverage well too. So there's so much that you can do with this play. We're going to, I don't want to spoil the whole ebook. I want you to get the ebook. If you haven't already bought it, um, the way, the best way to get it is to be a Patreon member. For just $10, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks like this bunch tight end that we just released today. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down in the description.